So here I am to show you the new features for the last version of the Powerline system. So on the left side we can see the new color maps pane with the beautiful colors and on the right side we can see the new aperiodic channels. So let's start first with the color maps pane. So the first thing we have to do is to select a piece so it will show us then the very first stroke in the piece on the bottom and the last one on the top. So as for any other pane there is a configuration pane where you will be able to choose the channels as well as the optional settings so let's right click configure and pane so as in any other configuration pane we can choose the channels we want in this window then we have the option to show the distance so it will start from zero and will be divided by the amount written in here the second option is uh, stroke number so if we only choose this option here the stroke number will be the same as in the file whereas if we choose this option as well the stroke number will start from zero at the beginning of the piece so it will actually show us how many strokes they took in that piece the last option in this window is the key which will show the color bands and the color boundaries for each color map. The last few options are the channel names and the x-axis to be shown as well. So let's see an example. So this is a 500 meter piece. Then this axis is showing us the number of the strokes. So because we chose the second option with the offset, the numbers are starting from zero. Then we see that we have the x-axis shown so this is the time this is the drive start time so we can change this in the configuration x-axis so in the color map x-axis we can choose the seconds we want to see before the drive and after the drive and on the right side we have the key so this shows us the color bands that we are using for each channel as well as the boundaries that we've set so if, if we want to adjust those we have to right click and configure scales so the first thing we have to do here is go to color maps so if we want to create a new color map we click here we write new okay so we need to start creating the colors so we can choose the low color to be let's say pink and then the next one a bit darker we can divide these colors in 10 or we want just in five pieces okay so let's imagine we have three bands and we want the first one to be deleted so we just move it and delete it okay so now we will want to use any of these color maps okay so we go back to the scale settings and let's choose gate force for example so we go here and we will be able to choose any of the color maps that we've created so let's choose force for example so so as you can see here I've set different boundaries so if I want to change any of them I just need to click there and change them or if I want to delete let's say let's delete this one and if I want to add again I would just write and apply okay so uh, just remember that 
you can choose the same color map for different channels. So let's see how they look now. So the key here is to choose nice boundaries, meaningful boundaries. And now on the right we can see in the stats view the new channels, the new periodic channels that we have included. So the first one shows the angle at the max force, whereas the second one shows the percentage of the angle done when reaching the max force. Then we have the angle at the 70% force as well as the drive time and the recovery time. The last four channels show the percentage of the work done within the first quarter, the second, the third and fourth of the drive. So before I finish, I would like to inform you that we've included some new templates which already use these new channels and the new color maps pane as well as this scaling which already contains some color bands and some boundaries. So we hope that these new features will help the rowers to go faster and faster. So now enjoy and create nice views and paints for your rovers.